Welcome back. Let's continue with more news. Artificial intelligence is taking center stage at the annual Southern Africa Telecommunications Network and Applications Conference, also known as SATNAC, which is underway in KwaZulu Natal today. Artificial intelligence is a process in which machines are taught certain repetitive skills that they're able to perfect, just like humans. And the conference brings together masters and doctoral students with government, ICT specialists and leaders from industry under one roof to explore the latest developments in given technologies. SABC News senior business reporter Nompomolelo Siziba has more on that story. Thanks very much for joining us here at Satnak uh, in the lovely Drakensberg where we've had a variation of good weather and uh, quite biting cold as well. Uh, as we've mentioned, uh, part of the Satnak uh, discussion is around uh, students showing their, uh, their ideas, um, bringing their papers to the fore so that industry specialists can have a look and also government. Uh, it's an opportunity for them to really show their ideas uh, which can then grow into something else hopefully. I'm joined by one student, uh, he's uh, Wandile Miandu, and he's got an idea that he's here to share. Wandile, thank you very much for telling us uh, about your story. Tell us about your work and what you're, what you're hoping to achieve with it. Thank you very much, thank you very much. So my work is around deploying ICT infrastructure for South African public schools. As we know that most public schools don't have ICT infrastructure, ICT devices, which is a big, in, like, inhibitor for them to adopt fourth industrial revolution tools. So my work is all around providing an SDN based ICT infrastructure to enable South African public schools or the Department of Basic Education to test new ICT infrastructure ideas. So, so you're talking in acronyms, break it down for us. So by breaking it down, I can just talk about that software defined networks will allow South African public schools to have like a reduced number of people that offer the IT supports, which would be a way to reduce the budget that is allocated to have ICT infrastructure for South African public schools. And most South African public schools don't have ICT devices and to provide a decision support tool for the Department of Basic Education to actually determine which devices are appropriate for these public schools would be a huge help and this is what I'm trying to do. So why has it been important for you to come and show your work uh, and your ideas here at SATNAC? So SATNAC is a very big conference. It's a very big conference. A lot of people come here including like government officials, people like executives from companies. So them coming here is an opportunity for me to network with them, socialize with them, to find a direction which is more of a best practice for my own research work. It does look like it's quite extensive work because you've got quite a lot in the way of uh, presentation. Um, are you hoping that you're going to get advice about adding there too, or you're hoping that is an idea that will be picked up right away and commercialized somehow? Both, both. It, it should be an idea that is picked up right away and commercialized. And I'm looking to collaborate with anyone who has like a similar research interest or finds value in what I'm doing in my research. So what prompted you to come up with this idea, which is a very noble one because it seeks to address a social need? So as a South African myself, I've seen many public schools and it really hurts me inside to see them not having technology and not finding a solution online in the public domain which actually talks to tackling this deficiency of ICT infrastructure in public schools. So that was my main motive to tackling such a research project. And if this does gain some traction and we see this ability across South African schools, what kind of game changer do you think it will be? It will be a big, big, big game changer because this very research work is about creating modern learning environments and these modern learning environments will allow South African public schools to create or produce students who can compete internationally. Super. Wandile, thank you so much for speaking to us and all the very best. Uh, Wandile so Miandu, uh, yes. just telling us about uh, his idea there um, around the issue of software defined networks, which he's hoping he can get to speak to, to government about uh, in order to help uh, the Department of Public Education uh, to better ensure that young South Africans uh, get the education that they need so that they can be globally competitive.